Hey guys, it's Jay here from Daxwoods Wanderer. I got Paul and Stephanie with me here on a trip that those of you who watch my videos are going to recognize this one, Long Lake to Tupper Lake. It's an absolutely wonderful trip. If you haven't seen the channel before, you picked a perfect video to start watching. About 40, 45 miles through some real gorgeous wilderness, some great fishing hopefully along the way. We've got one carry to make, so we don't have too much gear. I don't know. We do have a bit over there, but just one carry. Getting all loaded up now, and we're going to hit the water. I guess we might as well do a little trolling on the way there, huh? I've got on a Rapala Husky Jerk in the perch flavor right now. And Stephanie has on a Berkeley Flicker Shad in the bluegill persuasion. And uh, we're trolling through right now, like 14 feet of water. It gets much deeper as you go further up the lake, but I've caught a few smallmouth doing this, so I figured while the weather permits it, I might as well try to pick one up on the way. Yeah, we're just passing by Round Island now, making pretty good time up the lake, honestly, here. With the water as high as it is, I think there's a good bit more flow than usual, and it's kind of just helping to carry us here. No fish yet. Stephanie definitely looked like she had a pretty solid bite, but no hookup, so we're hoping to get into more action as we pedal along here. It's really not too bad so far, knock on wooden gunnels. <laughs> we're hoping that we can maintain this pace here and just shoot up the lake and get right to the lean-to we want, but if things do pick up, there's plenty of lean-to, so you just pop into and hunker down in, so... I'm just gonna keep pushing here. I wish that I had just had the camera on for what happened. Shows you what a great YouTuber I am that I uh, didn't turn it on till now, but this boat, I mean, you could kind of probably either still hear his motor or see him going down there. Purposely cut in front of us here, going I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 miles an hour to purposely create a wake and then like circled back behind us and kept going. Like very obviously went out of his way to do that. And I actually, at first I didn't, I thought it was just an accident. Stephanie starts yelling at him to slow down and I was like, no, no. But now I see, I mean, that was deliberate. Wow. I guess not everybody's a fan of the Dax Woods Wanderer. <laughs> what the heck, man? Paul, uh, Paul just got a really nice northern back there. Stephanie had probably a northern on herself there for a, for a quick second, but uh, he ended up slipping off the hook, so looks like Paul's gonna take the first fish trophy here. We'll catch up, though. I've switched my, Stephanie's still got the same flicker shad on. I've switched mine up at this point to a Northland Tackle Rumble Shad in that clown color that I like. Figure that's bound to pick up something. Fish on! It's a smallmouth, I saw him jumping. Woo! 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 I don't have my nut handy, so... Oh. No, I got him in the boat. There we go. Not monsterish, but he definitely had a lot of fight to him. Nice little smallmouth. 
Stephanie's got a fish here. I'm just reeling mine up to get out of the way. Yeah, once you get, oh, oh no! Oh, Stephanie! A decent sized smallmouth just jumped out of the water and spit her lure back at her. Oh, that wasn't your fault, Stepster. There's no, nothing you could have done. All right, we made it. Looks like the maintenance crew is here working on the trail again. We're just getting our boats unloaded. Try and be careful not to hit them on the rocks or anything like that. And lean to right up there. Things are going our way. Caught fish. Avoided any of the real nasty weather. Yep. What All do you right. think? I think it's awesome. Now, of course, there's garbage around. People just can't help themselves, can they? Well, now that I've got it out here, I figured I'd take a minute to show you guys a little new piece of kit we've got with us. I got sent this Ice Mule Pro 40 liter cooler here. Backpack cooler. Seems to work pretty well so far. This block of cheese that we brought with us is kind of frozen right now. Everything in there is still completely solid after three hours of paddling. We haven't hit any real sun or heat yet, so that's going to be the test, but... I don't know if we're really supposed to get a lot of that on this trip to begin Wednesday, with. 74 and sunny. All right, that'll be the test then, seeing how things go on Wednesday. But right now I like it. I mean, it's. I think it's going to be easier than lugging a cooler across the carry. I'll either put it on the front of me or the back of Stephanie. We'll, we'll do something like that. But so far I like it. Yeah, so we're just digging into a little food here. Pretty much snacking. Paul, you got her. I'm going to get it right. Zeke here from Painted Rock Outdoors was eating some peanut M&Ms. I got into a little cheese and crackers and pepperoni with Stephanie here. And now we're just gonna kinda get all set up, hang out, hope the wind dies down. If not, the reading material on this trip is a pretty good one. Canoeing the Adirondacks with Nesimek. Collection of all his different letters that he wrote. It's been really cool. Real good read. Well, I suppose you could say we are officially camping now. Campfire's rolling. We're talking about dinner at the moment. Not really time for it yet, but um, I've got a couple wildly overpriced steaks here <laughs> that Stephanie and I plan to make with some fried potatoes tonight. I offered some to Zeke there, but... Uh, He's going to go with the chicken coconut curry. I've got some naan with me that he can have with that and kind of fancy it up a little bit. Weather's not too horrible, honestly. I feel like there's going to be a window to get out there tonight. It's sprinkling a little bit right now, but I can deal with that. All right, we're getting into dinner mode now here. Stephanie's cutting up those potatoes. I'm gonna turn the griddle on here in a moment. I might as well do it now. I'm gonna turn the griddle on, get some butter melting on top of it, get that rocking and rolling. The fire here is starting to burn down. I don't really need these two logs to completely burn. I'll flip them over and use the heat from them right over my bitty big Q stove. And Zeke here, as he is going to be referred to from now on, <laughs> has this coconut chicken curry that I actually just took a bite of, and that's, uh, that's, it's really good. Peak refuel. Peak refuel, yeah. If you're gonna go with meals like that, that I, I mean, just from the taste I had, I could eat a whole bag of that, no doubt. Yeah, 
Yeah, things are coming along nicely at this point. The steaks are just getting to be about done over there. Potatoes are starting to turn that perfect golden color. We're in for a little bit of a feast here. Took a little longer than anticipated. You definitely had the right idea getting the fire going early. Can I see? Well guys, this night is just about ready to wind down here. I'm going to bust into these s'mores. Make myself a quick little snack before bed. And then I think I'm gonna turn in. Stephanie and I did get out there and we managed to fish for about an hour after dinner, not even an hour, maybe 30 minutes after dinner, but no luck. So we're just kind of keeping dry in the lean-to, hanging out by this nice wood, hardwood fire here and gonna enjoy the rest of our night before we get up early and make the move onto the falls. So. I'm going to finish this up, get myself tucked into that sleeping bag, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. We are all up. It's a little after five right now. I'm just getting everything packed up in here. Getting dressed, getting ready to move on. Whew, it was hot inside that sleeping bag last night. Did not expect that after the cold kind of day we had, but well, we can get packed up, get a light breakfast in us, and get on the move. Yep, here's the rain. Oh boy, it's really coming down too. Rain's just filling the boat up with water here. It's crazy. Well, another quick update here. We decided to take a break from that rain in this lean-to here. I was kind of iffy about hitting the carry with it all wet and slick right now. I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe the rain itself will pass once the wind comes in and I don't know. We can get out there, get back out there, get making miles again. I don't know. It's funny. I... I the only times I've ever had to like jump out of my boat and into a lean-to because of the rain have always been on the Racket River. <laughs> always on this trip from Long Lake to Tupper Lake. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was pretty much shivering in that canoe. I had to get out and get some dry clothes on me. The rain jacket did nothing. It's Almost not even down. 8 o'clock yet? Yeah. Well, I figured if we're going to sit here for a minute... I'm gonna boil up some hot water to make a little hot chocolate, make some oatmeal, get something warm in me. Well, this rain just does not seem like it's gonna let up, so I guess we're just gonna get back to making miles here. This is crazy. Stephanie is the king of the little fish. She got this little guy right here. Woo! It's tough fishing right now, that's for sure. Stephanie's got another one on here. Stephanie! Oh, did it get in the 
Damn. She is. It's a little bit better one right there. You want to see it? Ooh. I guess that bone colored whopper plopper is doing it today. Looks like it's my turn now. I got a pretty nice small mouth on here. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, he is. That's a really nice fish. I should have the net out. Oh man. I hope I don't lose him. Holy crap, so I gotta try to get the net. It's a big one. I can't believe Stephen you let you catch it. I know. Whoo! Look at those tiger stripes on that bronze back. There's got to be a couple pounds there. Beautiful fight to him. Really nice fish. Got a, we got another one here right next to the boat. Not as big, but I'll take it. Not as big as that last one, but still, it's a fish. Stephanie's got another one here. Seems like a nicer one. He's bending that rod. It's a nice one. Paul ain't too happy. Zeke ain't too happy. Woo! That's a solid one, Stephanie. Woo! Real nice color on that, Stephanie. Real solid, real solid little smallmouth there. Wow, just a minute later, my next cast after taking her fish off, and we've got another lunker. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, he's pulling, he's pulling drag. Ooh. Oh, get in there. That's their biggest one yet. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna need the pliers. He's got it. He's got it down in him. Wait till you guys see this fish. Oh, come on. Calm down. He's angry. There we go. Look at that. That is a solid, solid little bronze back. Beautiful color, healthy, nice red eyes, decent sized mouth there. That's a good fish. I mean, not just that too. We're having real consistent action out here. Well, Stephanie and I are. Um, someone in our party is not, but I mean, what are you gonna do? 
Very next cast, another one. Just as big as the last one. Come on, don't hook me. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, he's a big one. Just constant, constant, beautiful, beautiful small mouths all along here. Man, I was just saying to Stephanie, I think uh, I think most people paddle right through here. I think it's too shallow for the motorboats to get back here. And you end up with this perfect combination of amazing fishing, beautiful paddling. Wow. I'll freeze in the rain all day if that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Number five. Dude, I ain't caught a fish yet. I don't know what's going on. You want my whopper plopper? Well, I got three whopper ploppers. It's the color. It ain't the color. I'm telling you, it's the color. It's not the color. These two colors I catch are all I catch fish on here, man. If I had that on, I wouldn't be catching nothing. All right. Stephanie's got a really good one on right now. That looks like a big one. Come on, Steph. Don't lose it. Oh yeah, look at him. Ooh, don't short line him. Ooh. Oh God, I felt that hook touch me. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, man. I know, that's a nice one. That's not bad. That there's a nice one. They got some hack to them. Maybe we should be measuring them. Whoops, I do have, oh wait, I don't have measurements on this paddle. Here we go. I got a big pike on. I saw him fully clear the water and pull a ton of drag out on me. Holy cripes. I'm trying to keep him out of the depth finder right now. Holy cripes. Wow! Look at him! Wow. That's a huge northern! I can't fit my hands around him! You got little baby hands anyway. Oh my god. Holy crap, look. Wow, oh my god. Look at that, Paul. I see it, that's a nice one. Oh my god, man. He's heavy. Wow. Wow. That was a hell of a pike, man. Yeah. River is opposed to a lake, they're gonna. Yeah. Woo! Well, the rain just does not let up, at least today. We are all soaked, and I think we're just going to push to the carry at this point. Paul, uh, Zeke, unfortunately, has missed five fish, five blow-ups. The last one, 
spit it out right next to the boat. Could not believe it. Even with this weather though, I, I still call this a good day. This is a beautiful paddle through here. Some really solid fishing action this morning. It's hard to, hard to beat. And I think right around this corner up here, we're gonna see the first signs warning us about the falls up ahead. Yeah, so we're on the carry now. Stephanie and I just got done with our first load of gear. All we've got left is the camp kitchen bag, the fishing bag, those paddles, the rain pants there. All this is gonna get lashed into the boat and just go on my shoulders here and we're gonna be on the way. Looks like the lean-to might be taken, but I might be able to finagle something with the other guy that's there, I don't know. But uh, either way, we're going to get somewhere dry here soon, get some lunch in us, and keep this day rolling. I don't know if I've ever shown it in a video, but this is how I secure everything in here. Gear ties holding my two rods at the front and at the thwart there. And then these heavier gear ties on all the paddles on the outside there. The rod holders come up out of the clamp mounts get put away in a bag and the clamps stay right on and then she's gonna go on my shoulders and we're gonna bomb down there The lean-to turned out to be a no-go, but uh, I would say this tent site we got here is probably the next best thing. Nice and tucked away from the trail. Beautiful view of the river here. Possibly even some room to fish down there from what I saw, so yeah, I'm happy with this. We're going to get set up now. Zeke's getting his stuff set up. Gonna get some lunch in us, recover. All right, my battery died right in the middle of me explaining that we got set up at camp here. So it's been, a, it's been about, I don't know, 45 minutes since I recorded there. Finally got the new battery in. I'm gonna work on some burgers here, some mac salad, heat up a few other things. We'll snack for lunch, eat that. I'm gonna make it right on the griddle here. Oh, just smacked my face on the tarp line. Stephanie got our tent all set up. Zeke's got his all set up over here. And we're pretty much just getting settled in, you know? Doing what we do. We endured the worst of it, I think, so hopefully from here we got a bit of smooth sailing if, if things go our way. Everybody's all set up with a little lunch. We got some mac salad. We got some burgers. I gotta go grab salt and pepper for the mac salad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the oil separated. <laughs> yeah, the oil separated when I froze it. But Good enough, right? Mm -hmm. All right. 
Time to dig in. Look at that buck. He's got small velvety spikes on him. Oh, I might have spooked him. No? Oh, yeah, there he goes. All right, figured we'd get in a little afternoon update here. I mean, you guys saw that deer that walked through camp there, but I mean, yeah, we had a nice little lunch. Stephanie, I believe, is taking a rest over in the Nemo tracker over there. We're staying dry with a nice tarp set up here. We got our cook set up over there underneath another tarp, and uh, yeah. I really, I mean, this day came with its trials, but also its rewards. Even just sitting here right now and relaxing after after the carry and the wet and the cold, this is... Yeah, we don't even care that we're not fishing right now. Yeah, I know, this is just where, where I wanna be. You guys caught enough fish already. Uh, I, I am satiated, I, I, if, I, if I had to be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know I've said it many times, but just another great trip all around. Looking forward to the rest of it, for sure. Uh, it seems maybe the Zolio did not give me the most accurate forecast here. It called for a 0% chance of rain at 6 o'clock. <laughs> it is right now. 6.03. And it's raining, and it's raining yeah, like Zeke just said, about as hard as it has all day. So... I don't know what's going to happen tonight here. Fishing is starting to look less and less likely, but I don't know. I'm going to attempt to make a fire later if this lets up, but who knows. It's just one of those days. I mean, those of you who spend time out here, you know. You know what well, you know what's going on. Just one of those days. All right, it's seven o'clock and this rain is still continuing to come down here. So I guess at this point, it's time to get some dinner rolling. We've got pataks, tikka masala curry, some chicken to put in there with it, and a little white rice. And of course, the naan bread. Naan. I think when I say non bread, I'm just saying bread, bread. Right, it's just non. Yeah. It doesn't mean non bread. So that's looking like dinner tonight. Unfortunately, it just, it really seems like we're not going to get out there and fish. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's raining. Things could change in the next hour, hour and a half, but uh, I have a feeling we're just going to be hunkered down, getting an early night's sleep, and. I'm in my PJs already. Yeah, I'm sure we'll hit it hard in the morning. Hey, good morning, guys. It looks like the rain has finally let up here and turned into a pretty decent little morning. It ain't too cold. The river's flowing by there. Coffee and hot chocolate are about to be in the works. Maybe some breakfast wraps. Then have a good morning. Hopefully, the fishing stays as hot as it did yesterday, and we'll be able to get right out there soon and get right back to it. But uh, I'm going to get a little organized here, start getting stuff together, and the day's going to begin. Yeah, so if you haven't guessed it by now, it's breakfast wraps this morning on the menu. I've already sort of browned up the, uh, oh, the screen's getting foggy. Sort of already browned up the onions and pepper there, threw the bacon on. That'll cook up, put a little grease in the pan. The eggs will go in after. A little bit of cheese goes inside a flour tortilla. Everything goes inside, wrap it up. It's a real good meal out here. Great way to get your day rolling. Zeke's been busting into a little bit of his stick boy coffee here. 
I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know where the bag is right now, but it's it's some locally made stuff that, uh, I mean, turned him, who was a lifelong non-coffee drinker, into a coffee drinker, so... Might be worth checking out. I think it's based out of Syracuse or Oswego, that region. I'll ask him. There is the final result. Bacon, cheese, eggs, peppers, onions, topped off with a little Taco Bell breakfast salsa. Good enough way to get the day moving. Stephanie's digging in over there. Zeke's over here. We're gonna pound these down, get packed up, and hit the river, huh? <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Got my last bag on my back, canoe's down there already. We're on the move. Well, I got the first one of the day on here, and he's a little guy. Another smallmouth. There he is. Not too big, but... that thing that is ready to probably come down any any season now jeez I think it was an eagle. No, I really think it was an eagle, Stubster. There's not much bigger than an eagle. No, those big birds. They're it wasn't a hare. Yeah, like that. You don't mean an osprey, do you? Ospreys are smaller. Than yeah. It was an eagle. I saw it. Beautiful. I the, I caught only a brief glimpse, but I thought it was an eagle as well. Got another decent one here. Oh, 
got him in the net. Finally! Zeke's got one on right now. I just got this guy here. Looks like the action's starting to pick up a little bit. Another nice small mouth. Wow. Whew. Another good one. He's good to go. It was just really lodged into that tough, solid tongue they got there. Whew. We got it out, though. Yeah, so we decided to take a little break here. Pulled off the river up to the lean-to here, number eight. Rooting around in the barrel for some snacks right now. I've got these on me. Warhead cubes, blue raspberry. Not too bad. I'm sure Stephanie will want something else, but uh, yeah, I want to go check this out. I don't think I've ever been to this one. How is it? I think we had lunch here before. Did we? I think there's another one over there. Yeah. Maybe. This does look familiar. Oh! We stayed here with Alan and Tracy. Yeah, this is the one with the rain gutter, so it doesn't spill down on you. Nice. All right. I've been practically falling through my seat and don't want to try to dig out the duct tape right now. So I'm hoping that my hoodie that I've put down here will provide me enough cushion to not to not fall through. But now I immediately realize I'm sitting way higher. Or at least it feels like it. I think this is how high I used to normally sit though before the seat started falling through, so I guess it should be fine. There's the entrance to Stony Creek Ponds. Water is definitely higher than last time I was back there, which was just like a week ago or so. That's crazy. It just keeps on raining. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you, sir? Oh, not too bad. I think we're back in cell service range. My life jacket's vibrating. Those of you who watched my last trip through here are going to recognize this site. Number 13, just stopping in for a quick lunch. Going to make up some kielbasa on the camp stove here, put them on hot dog buns, throw some mustard on it, have a little lunch. Zeke says this is the Dead Sea out there. It's the Dead Sea. <laughs> the river of no fish. 
What are your thoughts? I'm very disappointed by the lack of action today. She caught less than you. You at least got a couple today. I got nothing. Because there's nothing in there. I guess we all can't have four fish days. <laughs> all right. These are looking just about ready to eat here. You guys just buns in there. Just grab them off, help yourself, and we'll dig in. Here we go. Alright. We are back on the move. Had a nice lunch. Got about four more miles ahead of us. We'll be probably camped up at a lean-to tonight or somewhere at least in the Trombley Landing vicinity. Don't really plan on doing too much more fishing right now. I mean, conditions are kind of tough. Sun's out, middle of the day. Probably best to just make these miles and hope that we could get into some walleye or some more bass tonight by the wherever we camp. Beautiful day for paddling, that's for sure. All right, we're pulling up to our first potential lean-to here. Hoping that it's open. I guess I better pull the depth finder up. All right. Yeah, so I've wanted to stay at this lean-to quite a few times, and every time I get here, there's people here. So, it looks like maybe I finally lucked out. Hope I'm not speaking too soon. Only downside is we're so far into the trip at this point, you could definitely hear the main road running a couple miles that way. Not ideal, but... What are you going to do? Let's see what we got here. Oh, this will do. This will do nicely. Little bit of garbage in there, but it can be cleaned up. Nice. I'm sure we could find plenty of wood around here. I actually already see some down stuff. Nice. You can definitely tell we've been through some wet stuff at this point. All our stuff's out, hanging to dry, laying out. Even some of the stuff in the barrel got wet, so I've got a bunch of that sitting out here too. I'll just kind of relax in after that long paddle today. I mean, we put some miles in for sure. Yeah, we did. It's fun though. It's part of the part of the experience. Yeah. Get out there tonight and hopefully get into a little bit of fishing. Have one more relaxing night out here, and probably just gonna shoot right for Tupper in the morning. I mean, we're kind of at the end of the journey here. You can hear the road not too far away. We've left the wilderness behind. But, still have one more good night out here. Definitely get into those marshmallow s'mores tonight. It's looking like probably spaghetti with sauce. I've got some Italian sausages with me. I'll have a good little last night meal.
All right, we got camp all set up and situated here. Things are well on their way to drying out. I've already put away the tarp. I don't know how good our clothes will dry tonight, but at the very least, I'll have a dry tent to put away. Hopefully her dry bag will dry out. I it wasn't very well. Kind of ridiculous that that got wet in the first place. I don't know what happened there, but I guess I don't know what happened. But we're going to get out there and fish for maybe an hour, hour and a half here. It's our last night out. Don't want to waste it. Well, no luck out there tonight. I cannot believe that after the fishing we had yesterday. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Zeke's been up here keeping the fire going. I suppose it's time to work on a little dinner. Now, I'm sorry you couldn't get a fish, Stephanie. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, so we got everything in the works over here. Water has just been put on to start boiling. Got that Italian sausage going on the griddle there. I'll get the sauce warming up last because that won't take long. Just have to really heat it up. We'll be eating. A lot worse ways to spend your time in the woods, that's for sure. Letting the sauce heat up. Still, oh, that water's just about there. Ready for that spaghetti to go in. And I've got that sausage wrapped up in tin foil over the coals there. A little bit of flame hitting it, but I like it kind of crisped up anyway. It's looking to be good. Smells good. It looks pretty decent. <laughs> you made a lot of... I know, we knew it would happen. There's no way we're eating all that spaghetti. Well, you know. A couple grown men here. Yeah, we'll see. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> Should be enough sausage for six for each of us. Six pieces. Oh, yeah. The best part of the night right here. Didn't get to have any last night, so I'm gonna feast tonight. How many are you planning on eating? Maybe <laughs> 12, 13. I don't think so. The most you'll probably have is three. Baker's dozen, I'm thinking. You want this one or the next one? I don't care. That one looks like it's made with love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you can knock out one more? 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Had a great dinner, had a few s'mores. Beautiful night out there fishing. I wish we could have gotten to a few, but still, awesome to be out there paddling. Nowhere else I'd rather be today. So, yet again, I call that another successful day. We're going to turn in, try to hit the water early, and just hope maybe we find a few fish along the way to Tupper Lake. Got about eight miles or so ahead of us through still some beautiful area. We'll come into the oxbow, try to take that little shortcut through. The only thing that has me a little bit worried is that the water's so high that maybe we'll have to carry around the bridge, but uh, we'll see. Not going to worry about that tonight because it's time for bed. And I will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are all up. We are all moving around, getting packed up. Zeke actually was the first to get packed up. He's getting right out there to do some fishing. Stephanie and I are going a little slower here. Gonna make a quick little easy bite to eat before we hop in. And then we'll be making miles. The last eight of our 45 mile journey. It was a fun one. I wouldn't change a thing, honestly. I think all of the cumulative experiences are what made it what it was. So, hopefully we'll get out there, get into a little fishing action on the way, and cap off this awesome trip with an awesome paddle and hopefully some awesome fishing. All right, we got the boat loaded up here. We checked to make sure all our gear is with us. The fire's out. I guess it's time to start making that move towards Tupper Lake. Oh, I'm so sad to leave all this behind. Just kind of getting into the groove of things here on day four where it really like feels like we're in it feels like i mean i feel like i could spend a month out here at this point but it's time to return Stephanie and I both just had fish on at the same time and both just lost them. I think neither of them were very big, but... Darn it. <laughs> All right, we finally have a fish on here. Oh, it's a large one. Make some casts at that shore. Not huge. Maybe like a pound. I don't know. Still. Finally got the skunk out of the boat. I got another small one here. Oh! And he spit the hook at the boat. go we are just starting to see the first camps along the racket here and there's a few horses out to so get a little closer here I'll give you guys a look oops I guess not I never hit the power button
would come back here with my wife to not bring a fishing pole. That would be crazy. No, I'd be better off. No. Yeah. Make you would you would so kick yourself as you're paddling along, going, I bet you, I bet you, I get a blow up there. You know why? Because the thoughts back to this weekend or this week would just cure that. Wow. Wow, man. What's that? Sugar River, by the time I go two miles up the river from the launch, I got 25 fish caught. I'm not familiar. Where in the Adirondacks is that? I said a Sugar River. It's a body of water. It's not in the Adirondacks, huh? Why do you have to come to the Adirondacks every single trip? It's stupid. It's what I do is. No, I'm just kidding. I went to the St. Lawrence this year. Huh? I went to the St. Lawrence. Yeah. We're gonna have to dock. Get us to the middle. You got to get us. You... When you get up to it, grab a hold of it. Squeeze. I knew it was going to be tight. There's some, can you see? There's almost like a ski slope or something on it, man. There's big wide clearings on it. Yeah. you just stand up. All right, guys, that is going to do it. 45 miles, Long Lake to Tupper Lake, third year in a row. We did it. Hope you enjoyed yourself, man.
It was fun, but tough at times. For sure. Just want to take a moment to say thank you, everybody, for watching. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so really thank you guys for everything that you've done for the channel. It's It's been an amazing wild ride, and I look forward to many more. But we're going to get these canoes loaded up, get our gear put away, and go get lunch in Long Lake. So we'll catch you on the next one.